Hello, everyone. Hey, guys. <laughs> Welcome to Popcorn in Bed, P.I.B., if you will. <laughs> Are you okay? Are you sure? <laughs> Why do you act like you're reading it teleprompter? <laughs> I don't know. All right, we're here on a Sunday night. Yes. Cozy, ready to watch a movie. A fallish movie? A fallish movie. You want to know what we're watching? Great. Me too. Cass, take it away. <laughs> you don't know. I don't know. All I know is the time length of it. Um, so we are kind of starting scary, but not too scary, October. I'm sorry. What? <laughs> okay, I was going to make you watch Zodiac tonight, but that's till Wednesday. But this, I think this is comedy. Like comedy whodunit. We are okay. watching Clue. Oh, fun! Yeah, yeah. As in, like the board game. Yeah, like murder I think I can mystery. Do that. Yeah, I, I, I think I can do that. I feel like I've seen like a part of it when I was like seven years old. Maybe you're twelve. Do you think? No. I feel like you were there. You were Maybe there. you played the game. Oh, we definitely played the game. We still have the game. Yeah. I was always Miss Scarlet because I thought she was sexy. Yeah. And was what? there Miss Peacock? Was she blue? Oh, yeah, the blue one. Yep, I could see that. And Colonel Mustard. Yeah. In the dining room. I think With it's the like candlestick. I know. I always I always chose the candlestick because I felt like that was the least gruesome. But yeah. now that I think about it, to kill someone with a candlestick, it probably had to be very oh. gruesome. Maybe the. Anyways. Anyways, um, I think it is based off of the board game. Yeah. And it's from 1985. I've got lots of suggestions for it when October has rolled around in the past. Okay. And so we're finally doing it. I thought we'd start off kind of like more lighthearted. I hope. Yeah. I don't think we're gonna see anyone bludgered to death, but you never know. That's and awesome. two, I have zero idea if there's any like famous actors that we oh, yeah. have in it or anything like that. Why don't we just for fun make our predictions before? Oh, okay. who did it? Okay, yeah. okay, 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 okay. You have to say who, where, when. Okay, I got it. Okay, you go first. Okay, Miss White in the kitchen with the. I don't know, I can't remember all the tools. Is there a knife? There's a knife. They're in the kitchen. Dagger. Knife. Dang. Dang. Dagger. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to say Mr. Green in the study. Oh, shoot. With the lead pipe. Da 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 da. Okay. <laughs> well, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> Remember, if you want to join our Patreon vote on polls, right now we have a Halloween lighthearted, funny kind of poll going on. The Zombie Land is currently winning. Um, here's Patreon. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Let's watch Clue. Will that poll be still going on by the time this is no, aired? No, no, well, but I'm just giving them an example okay, gotcha, of the kind of content. Gotcha. That yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. More polls coming. Okay, Woo. here we go. Oh, I just need everyone to see my The Birds Bodega Bay shirt. Do you remember the pet the birds? Oh, house? the birds! Yes. <laughs> That's totally the logo from the game, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But what came first, the game or the movie? Oh, that thought just in. I don't know actually, I but know. I bet you guys know. <laughs> oh, Christopher Lloyd. He's oh, the um. The he's the mad scientist from Back to the it. Future. Oh, really? Yeah, you know? The scientist. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, like, great fun. Scott! Yeah. yeah. Okay, you seem to really... This always happens, though. At the beginning. I'm gonna start our treat. And then it's gonna... We are having the Poppy brand. Um, oh pecan gosh, pie. I love that. I have been in such a popcorn mood lately. Someone sent me all that skinny pop. Oh, I have that every day. Doesn't this seem like folly? Yeah. So pie. Fall. Okay, piece of black blood driving. Oh, fun. I wonder if it'll taste any different than just like caramel popcorn. Yeah. And then there's pawns in it. It's a bit nutty. Yeah. Maybe a little more buttery, like a pecan mm -hmm. pie. Mm -hmm. It's good though. Very good. And not like extra sticky, which I like. Mm hmm. That house looks so creepy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Based upon the board game. Oh, good. Okay. Board game came first. Why does this driver already look kind of like he's up to no good as well? He looks driver. like a uh, Mr. Green. New England, 1954. Miss you. You have your. Uh... Instructions. Who's not the driver? He's the owner of the house, maybe? Can't tell. I need a peek on. Oh, shoot. Kitchen dagger! 
Dinner will be ready at 7.30. Good evening. Good evening. I don't know it. Yes, indeed, sir. You are expected, Colonel. Colonel Mustard. Colonel Mustard. But tonight, you may well feel obliged to my employer for the use of an alias. He is the butler. Okay. Do come in, madam. Is this Scarlet or Peacock? Only that you are to be known as Mrs. White. Mrs. White? Didn't, didn't you think she was old? Yeah. Mrs. White, this is Yvette, the maid. I see you know each other. I'm feeling good about my prediction, though. <laughs> Want a lift? Yes, please. I'm late for dinner date. Me too. Where are you going? Hill House, off Route 41. That's where I'm going. I got a letter like this. That's him. But if you and just got a letter, Peacock. would you go? Yvette, Miss Peacock, you Miss Peacock. Dinner will be ready as soon as all the guests have arrived. I thought Miss White and Miss Peacock would be flipped. Me too. But if you just got a letter being like, show up at this address, would you go? <laughs> um, no. Yeah. Are you must be Mr. Green. Yeah. Mr. Green. <laughs> no. <laughs> Should be just off there. Okay, so he must be Professor Plum. Yes. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Why is the car stop? It's frightened. <laughs> and that has to be Scarlet. Mm -hmm. Professor Plum and Miss Scarlet, I didn't realize you were acquainted. We weren't. Of course, since you've each been addressed by a yeah, pseudonym, you will realize that future, nobody yeah. here is being addressed by their real name. <laughs> <laughs> You'll find your names beside your places. Please be seated. So is this for our host? No, sir. For the seventh guest, Mr. Body. I thought Mr. Body was our host. Sorry, Sorry. 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 Well, someone's got to break the ice, and it might as well be me. I mean, I'm used to being host. No idea what we're doing here, or what I'm doing here, or what this place is about, but I am determined to enjoy myself. And oh my, this soup's delicious, isn't it? Forgot we're not supposed to say who we really are. I know who you are. I work in Washington too. Washington? So you're a politician's wife? Yes, I, I am. Great, I'm a little bit accident prone. Oh, watch it. This is one of my favorite recipes. I know, madam. So, what do you do in Washington, D.C., Mr. Green? I mean, how are we to get acquainted if we don't say anything about ourselves? Perhaps he doesn't want to get acquainted with you. Oh. You're not going to mention the coincidence that you also live in Washington, D.C.? How did you know that? Have we met before? I've certainly seen you before. What? Can anyone here not earn their living from the government one way or another? Wadsworth, where's our host and why we've been brought here? Ladies and gentlemen, may I present Mr. Body? What are they all doing here? Eating dinner. Do sit down, Mr. Body. There wasn't a Mr. Body in the game, was there? I don't think so. Why is everyone so automatically scared of him? I don't know. Look, I demand to know what's going on. I believe we all received a letter because a Mr. Body will bring to an end a certain long-standing financial liability. Oh, shoot. Oh. I also received a letter. Did your letter say the same thing? No. In that case, may I suggest we adjourn to the study for coffee and brandy? At which point I believe our unknown host will reveal his intentions. What? Then Mr. Body didn't get a letter that said the same thing? And he's not the host. Two what's right? He's open under she who is she? Is that Susan Sarandon? I don't know. She kind of reminds me of um the lady that was in From Will to Grace. Will to Grace. Grace. Right, isn't that a show? Will and Grace? Will and Grace, yeah. Deborah Messing? Yeah. The redhead? Mm -hmm. It's a hoax. I suggest we all leave. So you cannot leave this house. Who's gonna stop me? There's no way out. You can't hold us prisoner. Sorry. Was that his house? You can't get out, man. Why not? <laughs> Butler needs a raise. He's very yeah. committed to this. Maybe it's like Glass Onion where it's an elaborate I know. game by the host. I hosts. keep thinking about that too, like Knives Out and uh -huh. Glass Onion, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, you all have one thing in common. You're all being blackmailed and none of you know who's blackmailing you. As everyone here is in the same boat, there's no harm in my revealing some details. You were once a professor of psychiatry specializing in helping paranoid and homicidal lunatics, but you don't practice medicine at the UN. His license to practice has been lifted. You know what doctors aren't allowed to do with their lady patients? Yeah. Well, he did. Oh, how disgusting. Disgusting. Are you making moral judgments, Mrs. Peacock? How then do you justify taking bribes in return for delivering your husband, Senator Peacock's vote to certain lobbyists? It's a vicious lie. Oh, I'm being blackmailed, all right. But I did what I'm being blackmailed for. 
I run a specialized hotel and a telephone service which provide gentlemen with the company of a young lady. Oh, yeah? What's the phone number? So how did you know Colonel Mustard works in Washington? Is he one of your clients? Certainly not. It's not true. It's not true. Is that true? No, it's not true. Ha-ha! So it is true. A double negative. Are you trying to make me look stupid in front of the other guests? You don't need any help from me, sir. That's right. Book? Mrs. White, you've been paying our friend the blackmailer ever since your husband died under, shall we say, mysterious circumstances. I didn't kill. Then why are you paying the blackmailer? We had had a very humiliating public confrontation. He was deranged. What did he do for a living? He was a scientist. He was always a rather stupidly optimistic man. I mean, I'm afraid it came as a great shock to him when he died. His head had been cut off. <gasps> Your first husband also disappeared. He was an illusionist. But he never reappeared. He wasn't a very good illusionist. <laughs> Ooh, Miss White is... Yeah. I work for the State Department. And I'm a homosexual. I feel no personal shame or guilt about this. But I must keep it a secret or I will lose my job on security grounds. Thank you. He's like, actually, we... <laughs> it just leaves Mr. Body. What's your little secret? Oh, hadn't you guessed? He's the one who's blackmailing you all. Blackmail depends on secrecy. You've all admitted how he's been able to blackmail you. All you have to do is tell the police he'll be convicted and your troubles will be over. I have evidence in my possession and this conversation is being tech recorded. Oh, tell them the truth and Mr. Body will be behind bars. I think I can help them make up their minds. Can I just get my little bag from the hall? Who can guess what's in here? Excuse me. Open them. Are they all the weapons? A candlestick. Oh boy. A lead pipe. A lead pipe. Oh, and that's Mr. Green. That's what I said. A revolver. Oh no, the wrench. wrench. I forgot about that yes. one. In your hands, you each have a lethal weapon. If you denounce me, you will also be exposed and humiliated. I'll see to that in court. If one of you kills Wadsworth now, no one but the seven of us will ever know. He has the key to the front door, which he said would only be opened over his dead body. I suggest we take him up on that offer. The only way to avoid finding yourselves on the front pages is for one of you to kill Wadsworth. Oh my gosh. Now. Oh my gosh. Watchworth. Is he alive? Mr. Body. Mr. Body. He's the body. Body, body, body. He's dead. What? You shot him. I didn't. Well, you had the gun. If you didn't shoot him, who did? Nobody. Look, there's no gunshot wound. The bullet broke that vase on the mantle. How did he die? I don't know. I didn't do it. Oh, son, I need a drink. Maybe he was poisoned. Ah! 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 Sit down. Ah! Sit down, Mr. Ah! <gasps> Looks like we'll never know. Unless she dies too. <gasps> Is that Yvonne? And where did Wadsworth go? Yeah, where did Wadsworth go? You're alive. No thanks to you. What do you mean? You locked me up with a murderer, you idiot. So the murderer is in this room. Mais oui. But where? We are all looking at him. This is what said in the study, one of you is the killer. But why were you screaming in here all by yourself? Because I am frightened, me too. I also drink the cognac. I don't get it. I mean, What's Wadsworth's uh, motivation? Yeah, I don't know. For wanting to turn the black Someone, there. like who's giving him those envelopes? Mr. Body was before? Right. I'm not the butler, but I'm a butler. In fact, I was his butler. I invited you. In fact, I wrote the letters. It was all my idea. Wait a minute. I, I don't understand. Why did you invite us here to meet your late employer? Were you assisting him to blackmail us? Certainly not. Was he just trying to do good? Or maybe he was being blackmailed too? Oh, that's true. When I said that I was Mr. Body's butler, this was both true and misleading. I was once his butler, but it was not his untimely death this evening that brought my employment with him to an end. When did it come to an end? When my wife decided to end her life. She too was being blackmailed by this odious man. <laughs> he believed that you were all thoroughly un-American. If he was such a patriotic American, why didn't he just report us to the authorities? And he decided to put his information to good use and make a little money out. What could be more American than that? She's like, mm. The suicide of my wife preyed on my mind and created a sense of injustice in me. Well, yeah. Get everyone face to face, confront Mr. Body with his crimes, and then turn him over to the police. So everything is explained. And we still don't know who killed him. We've got to find out in the next 39 minutes. Well, I didn't do it. Well, one of us did. Maybe it wasn't one of us. Well, who else could it have been? Who else is in the house? Only oh, the, cook. the cook. The cook was rather sinister. She's not here. <gasps> oh! 
Oh. Yeah. Oh gosh. Somebody oh my you. gosh. I think you'd better explain yourself, Wadsworth. Me? Why me? Dinner wasn't that bad. How can you make jokes at a time like this? It's my defense mechanism. If I was the killer, I would kill you next. <gasps> Hey, come on, there is only one admitted killer here, and it is certainly not me, it is her. How many husbands have you had? Five. Five. Husbands should be like Kleenex. Soft, strong, and disposable. <laughs> oh, gosh. Look! Oh, oh. The body's gone! Huh? Oh. <gasps> We'd better look for him. That would actually be so terrifying. Like, yeah. <laughs> then you have to know there's another person in the house. Unless one of them really did do it. But haven't they all been traveling in packs? Maybe. Mr. Body killed the cook. Uh, well, if you'll excuse me, I have to, um, I just want to powder my nose. Uh, you do not leave. Yeah, mm -mm. looks fishy. I'm afraid those are the negatives to which Colonel Mustard earlier referred. <gasps> oh my god. I'd obtained them for the Colonel and I was going to give them back. Would you like to see these, Yvette? They might shock you. I am a lady. Oh, how do you know what kind of pictures they are if you're such a lady? Nobody can get into that position. Sure they can. Let me show you. Get off me. <laughs> <gasps> oh my gosh. Who was that? Mr. Body. The body? Yeah. What, is he alive? I don't know. No, he had blood on his head. No, he's dead. Mr. Body. Dead. Sorry, cancer. Pour into my arms. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> We're trying to find out who killed him and where and with what. Amen. I'm not shouting. All right, I am. Shouting, I'm shouting. <gasps> where did that come from? The candlestick? Dropped and that can't kill air? him, right? No, I think he's just knocked out. Oh. Okay, put the corpses on the sofa. Why are we putting the corpses on the I sofa? Don't know. that feels... Maybe we leave the corpses alone. Yeah. Oh, gosh, there's a knife in her. Oh! I do not like that. Uh. Oh, my gosh, yeah, just leave the corpses. Let's put them all in this cupboard. What are you doing with the key? Putting it in my pocket. That means that you can open it whenever you want. I have an idea. We'll throw it away. Good idea. Good idea. Wonderful. Go to the docks. <gasps> Car broke down out here, and I was wondering if I could use your phone. Don't be suspicious. Don't. Be yeah, seriously. Suspicious. Would you care to come in? I'd be like, no, not anymore. This is strange. When you finished your call, perhaps you'd be good enough to wait here. Certainly. Yeah, that freaked me right out. What now? Wadsworth, let me out. No. Why not? We gotta know who did it. We're all in this together now. Oh, Wadsworth, I'll make you sorry you ever started this. One day when we're alone together. No man in his right mind will be alone together with you. Well, I could use a drink. Oh, all so right. could I. Two corpses, everything's fine. <gasps> everything's fine. We're saying that awfully loud for another person making a phone call. If we let him stay in the house, he may get suspicious. If we throw him out, he may get even more suspicious. The police will be here by then, and there are two dead bodies. Shh. Is there anybody else in the house? No! no. And we split up and search the house. Split up? Suppose that one of us is the murderer. If we split up into pairs, whichever one of us is left with a killer might get killed. Then we would have discovered who the murderer is. The other half of the pair would be dead. This is war, Peacock. <laughs> <laughs> but it is dark upstairs and I am frightened of the dark. Will anyone go with me? I will. I will. No, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> The two shortest together, the next two shortest together. Agreed? <laughs> so much for no man ever be alone with her. Mm hmm Priscilla. Oh, oh gosh. It's so, like, have you ever played those games, like Murder in the Dark, yeah. or, you know, like, yeah, I, I like, it's a game and I still get scared. <laughs> Let's go. Do you want to go up in front of me? Absolutely not. There's no one up there. Then you go in front. All right. All right. Kind of like Mr. Green. I don't want Me it to too. be him, I know. I don't see any light switches in there. Well, neither do I, but there must be. Shall I come in with you? No! <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> the billiards room. looking for just i think if anyone else is in the house they're still there <laughs> as if like the person could move around i'll be right behind you that's why i'm nervous oh. then we go together she wasn't even in the room though mm -hmm. her body died <gasps> if there's anybody in here just look out oh yikes i'm coming 
Great Scott! Nobody here. It's behind one of those curtains. You look. I'll search the kitchen. I think I would have held on to that pool stick. Yeah. Oh, it is scary though. Also, oh, remember guy. When that guy? I was the just guy. gonna say. So there is someone else in the house? Although, the only couple that split up was Colonel Mustard. Went to the kitchen. <gasps> he has the key! I'm a little nervous. I'm in this big house, and I've been locked into the lounge. There's a whole group of people here having some sort of party. And Colonel Mustard had the wrench. One of them is my old boss from... <gasps> Wait a second. The random guy just died? One of them is my old boss. Yeah. So he saw all those people. Mm hmm Who was it? I'm trying to think of who... I feel like Mr. Green would have been the only one with, like, direct reports if you're going on, like, Jobs? type of job, right? So you wouldn't call Colonel Mustard a boss. I think. <gasps> Looks like a secret passage. Um. Um. Body... <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Why is it like an old movie thing, yeah, you know? Well, I think it's also like, it is like a comedy and yes, they're trying to yes. be a little uh -huh. ridiculous and... Let us in! Let us in! Let us out! Let us out! I'm just gonna have to break it down! Please! Go! 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 That seemed like solid, solid blood. Yeah. Doing our best! Shot. Why are you shooting that thing at us? Oh my gosh. I could have been killed! Ah. It was also a pretty good shot. Yeah, very good shot. Which one of you did it? We found him! But it was locked! No, it was unlocked! Unlocked! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <Yeah. laughs> the big group running back. How did you know it was unlocked? <gasps> so the police? Probably, right? Good evening, sir. Did the driver come in here for any help by any chance? No. No, 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 no. Well, actually, yes. There seemed to be some kind of disagreement. Can I come in and use your phone? Of course you may, sir. Uh, you could use the one in the st no, in, in the um, uh, library. Don't I know you from someplace? You all seem to be very anxious about something. Okay. Please help yourself to a drink if you'd like. Not the cognac, just in case. Just in case of what? Oh boy. Now you're locking a police officer up. Yeah, we should probably stop locking people in room. Uh -huh. He's just like calm. He's like, oh well. Well, they locked me in. <laughs> okay, it's oh. not that calm. That's good. Maybe the cop answered it. And who shall I say is calling? Ah, uh, would you hold on, please? Get me out of here! I'll book you for false arrest and murder! What do you mean, murder? I just said it so you would open the door. Why are you receiving phone calls from J. Edgar Hoover? J. Edgar Hoover. FBI? Federal Bureau of Investigation. Oh, shoot. He's on everybody else's. Why shouldn't he be on mine? Mind if I look around? Sure. Make it look convincing. This is the dining room. No kidding. What's going on in those two rooms? I don't think you should go in there. Why not? Because it's all too shocking. Oh my gosh. What are they gonna do? Oh my gosh, she's kissing a dead body. Oh. It's not all that shocking. <laughs> His face. Excuse me. This man's drunk, dead drunk. Oh. <laughs> I can explain everything. Don't worry, there's nothing illegal about any of this. Are you sure? <laughs> May I use your phone now? Certainly. Oh no, I don't want him to die. The officer? Yeah, he seems so nice. Why did you lock him in again? We haven't finished searching the house. Don't leave the cop in there. I know, and stop locking him in his right. It has to be not one of these people. 
I feel like we're... Oh, shoot. <laughs> Okay, remember in the game you could go in the passage. Yeah, you could go like around yeah. or like take the shortcuts. The secret passageway. Mm -hmm. I think that room's creepy regardless. Yeah. This is a creepy house. Yeah. <gasps> oh shoot. <gasps> Hello? Shut the door. <gasps> Did anyone recognize you? They know every inch of my body. They're not the only ones. <gasps> it's you! <gasps> Did you all of a sudden like, not have an accent yeah. either? Did anybody recognize you? You know that oh, no. big, ugly house on top? Oh, no! Hello? Another lead pipe! <gasps> I am your singing telegram. <gasps> oh! Oh! Things are getting oh. out of hand! How those two get so split up? Which two? Colonel and Scarlet. And where's Yvette? She got... I know, but wh where did he think she went? I don't know. Oh, <gasps> oh gosh. They're not even shocked anymore? <gasps> no! Six altogether. This is getting serious. <gasps> okay. He said, did he recognize you? The cop recognized you, that member. Yes. I know who did it. You do? do? And furthermore, I'm going to tell you how it was all done. At the start of the evening, Yvette was here by herself. I was in the hall. I know because I was there. And it was you. Yes. I asked you for your coat, and I recognized you as Colonel Mustard, and I prevented you from telling me your real name, and I ran across the hall to the library. <laughs> And the doorbell rang, and it was Mrs. White looking pale and tragic. Looking pale and tragic. We all revealed we'd all received a letter, and you'd had a letter, and you'd had a letter, and you'd okay. had a letter. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Everybody switch off the lights. <gasps> oh. <gasps> Grand. Mr. Body lay on the floor. <gasps> But remember what happened next. Mrs. Peacock took a drink. You said, maybe it's poisoned. She screams. Mr. Green. We all rushed up. But one of us wasn't here. Maybe one of us was murdering the cook. Who wasn't here? Do you know? I do. One of us could have stayed in the study, picked up the dagger, run down the hall, and stabbed the cook. We might have seen him running back. This secret passage. Is why was the cook murdered? She oh, had nothing that's to do true. with Mr. Bob. Because you were all implicated in Mr. Body's dastardly blackmail. The others were involved too. <gasps> Yvette. That's how he got all his information. The cook and Yvette were his accomplices. Whoever knew that the cook was involved killed her? Yes, I know. <laughs> <laughs> all right, it's true. I knew Yvette. My husband had an affair with her, but I didn't care. You knew Yvette too, didn't you? Yes, she worked for me. We've already established that you were one of Miss Scarlet's clients. Mm. Where and when was Mr. Body killed? Don't you see? No, I still don't see. Do not. Well, where is he? <laughs> oh, he's being perfect. By now she was dead. <laughs> one of us slipped through the same secret passage. The murderer was in the Does secret he know passage. When he says one of us? Yes, he said he did. He must, yeah. He's like, this is him explaining it all, right? Picked up the candlestick. Uh -huh. <laughs> Mustard has a top secret Pentagon job. Mrs. White's husband was a nuclear physicist. Yvette is a link between them. What is your top secret job, Colonel? He's working on the secret of the next fusion bomb. Bad luck that that motorist arrived at that moment. It wasn't luck. I invited him. <gasps> Everyone here tonight was either Mr. Body's victim or accomplice. What kind of information did he have? He was my driver during the war. He knew that I was a war profiteer. I stole essential Air Force radio parts. I sold them. The cop was from Washington. He was on my payroll. I bribed him once a week so I could carry on with business. And the singing telegram girl? Yeah! She was my patient once. I had an affair with her. Well. Oh, gosh. Let's put her in the study with the others. The murderer needed to get the weapons. He stole the key from my pocket. E. On the desk was the envelope from Mr. Body. It contained photographs and letters. The evidence of Mr. Body's network of informants. Where is the envelope now? Destroyed. Oh! Good evening. Have you ever given any thought? The kingdom of heaven is at hand. The cop arrived next. 
and the murderer switched off the electricity. Oh Ooh. my God! Hey, when he just none of us killed Mr. Body or the cook, Yvette. Yvette! She was in the billiard room listening to our conversation, and while we all examined the bullet hole, she crept into the study and stabbed the cook. <gasps> but when did she okay. kill Mr. Body? We all ran to the kitchen to see the cook. He got up and followed them down the hall. She hit him on the head with a candlestick and dragged him to the toilet. But who killed Yvette? Was it because she was acting under orders from the person who later killed her? Who? It was her employer, Miss Garlett. That's a lie. Is it? You switched off the electricity. It was easy for you no. here on the ground. Strangled Yvette, uh. killed the cop, opened the front door, recognized the singing telegram from her photograph, and shot her. From her photograph? Whoever has the gun is the murderer. <gasps> Why did you do it? I don't think they know my real business. My business is secrets. And Yvette found them out for me. You're a communist! No, Mr. Green. Communism is just a red herring. Like all members of the oldest profession, I'm a capitalist. And I'm going to sell my secrets, your secrets, to the highest bidder. You, as a mere butler, have no access to government secrets. Six against one, let's get her! There are no more bullets left in that gun. There's one bullet left in this gun, and guess who's going to get it? Oh! <gasps> Where's the chief? The oh, that's where fake. Oh, don't hate me for trying to shoot you. Frankly, Scarlett, I don't give a damn. I'm trying to tell you, there are no bullets left in this gun, you see? <laughs> wait, wait, what? You murdered them all. You were the person who was missing when the cook and Mr. Body were murdered. Mrs. Peacock did it all. There's no proof. The gun is missing. Gentlemen, turn out your pockets. Whoever has the gun is the murderer. Very well. What are you supposed to do about it? What? But it seems to me you've done the world a public service by ridding it of an appalling blackmailer and his disgusting informers. But I suggest we stack the bodies in the cellar, leave quietly one at a time, and pretend that none of this has ever happened. For she's a jolly good fellow. For she's a jolly good fellow. The police are actually going to be there, right? Denied, which nobody can deny. <laughs> They're not really like, yeah. <laughs> Mr. Green in the back. <laughs> the FBI will take care of that. My phone call for Mr. Hoover? I work for him, of course. But is the FBI in the habit of cleaning up after multiple murder? Why do you think it's run by a man called Hoover? Like the vacuum? Is that a vacuum joke? <laughs> Speak, Hawk. The kingdom of heaven is at hand. <gasps> okay, take her away. It's like the Mantis. We always get our man. Mrs. Peacock was a man? <laughs> Oh, don't do it. No. <gasps> but here's what really happened. <clears throat> I'm sure it's like, or did it? <laughs> you knew that Mr. Body was still alive. You fired the gun at him in the dark and missed. He was the missing person in the kitchen after we found the cook dead. But he was with us in the billiard room. I didn't. You don't expect us to believe that. I expect you to believe it. You killed the cook. She used <gasps> to be your cook. Colonel Mustard, when we saw the motorist at the front door, you took the key to the weapons cupboard out of my pocket, entered the lounge through the secret passage, killed the motorist with a blow on the head. Like that! So, Peacock yes. killed the cook, oh. Plum killed the body, Colonel killed the motorist. The rope from the open cupboard and throttled Yvette. You were jealous that your husband was stripping Yvette. That's why you killed him, too. Yes. I hated her. So much flames on the side of my face. Scarlet seized the opportunity, got to the library, where she hit the cop whom she'd been bribing. True. Who are you? Perry Mason. The gun is missing. Whoever's got the gun shot the girl. <gasps> I shot her. <gasps> what? You thought Mr. Body was dead, but why? None of you even met him till tonight. You're Mr. Body. <gasps> so who did I kill? My butler. Oh, shucks. But the oh, police sorry. will be here any minute. You'll never get away with this, any of you. Nobody's called them. You mean, oh my God, of course. We'll stack the bodies in the cellar, lock it, leave quietly one at a time. You'll just go on blackmailing us off. Why not? Well, I'll tell you why not. <gasps> Who's Mr. Green? The only one who didn't murder someone. And works in government. And he's the FBI agent? FBI. That phone call from J. Edgar Hoover was for me. I told you I didn't do it. All right, who done it? Oh, that one later on the other. <laughs> but if you want to know who killed Mr. Body, I did in the hall with the revolver. I'm going to go home and sleep with my wife. 
<laughs> okay, I got Mr. Green. Okay. <laughs> Technically, they all did it. Technically, they all did it. You're right. <laughs> they got us. All I feel like there was nostalgia of that just from the game. Yeah, totally. Yeah. You're right. What other board games should they make movies of? I know, for real. I mean, um, I guess games like the Barbie movie, the Lego movie, you know, yeah, like, yeah, I know. The classics. They're going. Settlers of Catan. <laughs> Who will be Lord Catan? <laughs> that actually would be good. Settle the island. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, it was silly. Yes. Um, uh -huh. But I always love a mystery. And yeah, I like that. Together. Like, I was trying to guess a few things. I was very wrong. Yeah. I, it's funny, like now going back, would I have noticed that someone was missing in the group? Because I feel like, like halfway through the movie, I started to kind of think about right, that. Right, right. But earlier, I guess I didn't. And so yeah, like if we watched it again, knowing what we know now. Yes, I'm like, because you've been counting like, how many people each time. I swear they were all together. I know, the whole time. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, dang it, what's up with so missing? I thought it was someone mm -hmm. completely different. Yeah, so too. who was the person that threw the evidence in the fire? That was Wadsworth. Oh. Well, who was pretending yes. to be Wadsworth. Yes, I think so. Sneaky, sneaky. Sneaky, sneaky. But yeah, you're so right. It like, mm -hmm. it was fun because we used to play the game. Yes. And mm -hmm. see the characters come to life. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, by the way, we just IMDb and we are wrong about every single person. So many people. So yeah. I don't know where these people came from. We did recognize a few, but yeah, we did not recognize the titles. So yeah, so that was very unsatisfying. <laughs> okay, yeah. so that was our first kind of october -y movie. Uh, that one I can handle. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Like I said, like it was like ridiculous. Like, yeah, I know. The, <laughs> ready, 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 and then over here, and then over here. Or like the crashing yes, into each other. Yes. And, mm -hmm. But also and good murder. Fun. Yeah. Okay, thank you so much for watching along with us. We'll see you again soon.